what is going on YouTube I am back with another video you can see I got the beast behind me man we're gonna be talking about a very important topic today in this video we're gonna be discussing the cheapest mods for your scat pack or a Hellcat most importantly two phases one all right being the aesthetics right everybody knows with these cars you see some of the craziest wraps wheels lights crazy shit right two power mod man i get that and i get that question a lot you guys so we're gonna be talking about those two things man if you guys know this is my 1320 man this is my child but it may be gone soon man so definitely stay in tune to the channel almost stuttered you guys look at that but outside of that you guys know everything 1320 happens right here man make sure you check out a few of my racing videos you can see it's, it's sunny right we're, we're getting towards race season so i can't wait um but outside of that man lock in hit that subscription subscription button and let's go let's stop the video and thank today's sponsor you guys car lock this little piece right here can save your car that's right you guys this piece right here is the world's best security system for your car one you can track this car down to the foot on the car lock app it'll also notify you when you have any heavy vibration the car stops the car turns on and every time it gets unplugged you guys this piece right here is mandatory for your dodge challenger or charger trust me you can use my code to save and even get a 14 day free trial make sure you use that and of course as always car lock all right you guys first and foremost we're gonna get into the three cheapest power mods in my opinion that are worth it now i'm not talking best bang for your buck or anything like that i'm talking about the three cheapest that are actually worth it to put on your 64 62 61 right not getting into the difference between srt 392 scat pack hellcat all of that your 62 your 64 and your 61 right so as you can see behind me man i have a pretty decent looking engine bay um, you guys know all of my power adders are from mass acceleration every single part of my build and the multiple builds with this car have all been from mass acceleration so i'm gonna be quoting prices from the shop so first and foremost you guys probably guessed it and let me know in the comments what intake you have but as far as performance you guys need a cold air intake now i have what is called a true cold air intake it goes down into my fender wheel you guys can see down there um that of course grabs air from this air duct obviously coming through there and then behind my wheel or in front of my wheel the reason I say this is a good add-on or a good power mod, it is pretty much the simple fact that it doesn't add a lot of power. Let me clear that up. But two, it actually helps your car run a little bit better. Now, if you have a intake up in here, yes, you're gonna be sucking in hot air, understand that, but that is why mine sits down there. My IATs today stay pretty close to what the temperature is outside. Um, this is from Leg Maker. Again, this is a Leg Maker True Cold Air Intake. You can get uh, JLT, uh, Leg Maker, B Woody, all sorts of things. But I think that is the best purchase. Um, they're going to range anywhere from one fifty to four hundred dollars. That is definitely the first thing, power wise, I'd go for. Secondly, of course, which attaches to your cold air intake is a ported throttle body. They have them at MMX. They have them at uh, mass acceleration you can get this thing ported stock or you can get again one from mmx that is ported um, again it does connect to your cold air intake and you'll see where i'm going here shortly with some of these power mods it's going to range anywhere between 150 to 300 dollars um, it will widen the actual intake hole or the throttle body hole whatever you want to call it which allows more airflow through the intake and through the engine and then lastly, you guys can go get a ported intake manifold. You can either send your stock one off to MMX or you can actually pay for a stock 392 intake manifold that is pre-ported. Um, it can run you about 400 bucks, uh, sometimes a little less if you send your own out, but then you're sitting there with no car because you have no intake on it, right? Now, there are some other ones out there like the Edelbrock, things of that nature. Um, that I have a few friends that actually run, but then it actually has the intake that comes out to here. So then you have to switch out your intake, etc. And I had already purchased this one. So again, those are the three that I would definitely go for. They're very cheap. They're fairly easy to obtain. You can actually put them on yourself. So it makes it very, very easy, which is why I chose those three. Now I'm gonna give an asterisk here and talk about another. I don't know if you can see 
those pretty things down there but we're gonna talk about cook's headers you guys so i wouldn't necessarily say they're cheap they can run you about two thousand dollars um, but long tube headers i think again and i actually made this statement in a previous video are just the best bang for your buck for these cars man they open up a lot of not only the sound but performance from them and it's one of the main things that people do as they start to build their car it's very popular but again you're going to run about two thousand dollars for them and then your install cost can range from five hundred to a thousand dollars depending on the shop and the quality right um and then some cars need a tune for them so then you start adding more money right which is why i don't necessarily put it in this video because again we're talking cheap mods so all in all you can get those three mods for way less than again purchasing your headers so those are my three power cheap mods for your 6.2, 6.4, or 6.1. All right, and now don't rip me in the comments for what I choose for the cheap power mods, right? They all work in unison together and they will help wake the car up just a little bit and you might need a tune with those three, but we're gonna get straight into aesthetics, you guys, because obviously my car is aesthetically pleasing, at least to my eyes. A lot of people actually don't like it. I get crazy comments on YouTube, man, but shout out to you guys. Hopefully I meet y'all in person because y'all probably won't have that same attitude if y'all ever saw me. But outside of that, we're gonna be talking about aesthetic mods, man. And the first thing I will tell you is any Amazon mod is a cheap aesthetic mod, all right? We're talking reflective concepts for their stickers for their front badges here. You're talking tail light tint. You're talking paddle extend shifters or paddle shifter extenders, uh, the carbon fiber add-ons to your interior, all of that. And I'm actually gonna show you, I didn't get them from Amazon, but I'm gonna show you my cheap aesthetic mods. So I do have the Reflective Concepts Red Challenger badge. Um, it does reflect when you take a picture of it um, with the flash on, but I think it goes well with the Red RT. Now the Red RT is a little bit deeper, but this is also faded over time right I've, i think i bought that when i first got the car now secondly and you know what i think i actually did get these or this from amazon but griff's garage installed it is the taillight tint you guys i have and mind you it is super dirty but i'm gonna go ahead and show you whenever you um turn the uh car on hit the brakes you can see the honeycomb i did get the dark tint not the smoke tint um, but again, I did buy it from Amazon. I wish I could tell you the name of the company right now. I'm going brain dead, but it's what every, it's not Day Day Customs, but it's what every other Dodge owner uses. Um, and I actually got it from my own boy, CLT Hemi. But again, like $30, like very, very cheap. The reflective concepts up front, very, very cheap. And I do, and you can see my road dog is in here with me today. I do have paddle extenders as well from proto prints um, you can see super clean um, but let me grab my keys here so i can show you what it looks like when i turn on you can see the honeycomb aspect which i think is pretty cool because if you go up to the top of my hood here you can see the honeycomb embossing and i have it over on that side as well now when it comes to aesthetics i can't skip over this you guys it is the most popular thing to do to your mopar your scat pack your hellcat and that is to have a one of one wrap man you will see some of the craziest wraps shout out to jtv1 he has one of the craziest ones i have seen uh, it's got the gold chrome with the Medusa and the snakes, all of that stuff, right? I can name a million people who've had a crazy rap. Burrows on YouTube, Cody or CLT Hemi has had the half and half, and I think he started the half and half, to be honest, at least where I am from. But what we're going to talk about is not a full wrap, but something that changes the look of your car instantly, and that is hood wraps, right? Most cars come with a full color. Obviously, there are some that come from Dodge with a hood painted already or the hood painted. But your satin black, your gloss black, and even some of your carbon fiber wraps look crazy and they actually change the look of your car. Now, Gris Garage runs them for about 150 to 300 depending on the car. Um, so it's not bad for a cheap mod to change the look of your car. I will actually upload a picture of my 5.7 um, with my hood wrap. And I think in total, I paid about $500 uh, for the full front end wrap that I did. And I, again, I will insert that right here. So some of you guys may think that wraps are expensive and then some of you may see um, may see places that offer it for way less right oh that one is killing me you guys um, but I will tell you this when 
you go to spend that money, do not cheap out on a wrap. I'm telling you, when you peel up your wrap, when it's time to take it off, there's gonna be so much residue. It could peel up your paint. Please be careful if you go to, man. Atlantic Wraps does the best wraps that I have ever seen, man. They did my wrap. Never had any issues with it. And obviously, you guys know this car goes through a bunch of abuse, has been through a bunch of abuse. Uh, and I can't say enough about it, man. Um, but yes, hood wrap, 150, 300 bucks. You can't beat that. Change the look of your money. All right, and my number three cheapest aesthetic mod. You can do it two ways, all right? It is on Amazon. You can get your uh, tail light tint along with your side marker tint, right? Side marker tint is gonna run you like 10 to 30 bucks, right? Very, very simple install, but you can also do the LED uh, side markers, which run you about $79. And then you have to either A, install them yourself or pay somebody, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. These ugly little things are normally orange, right? And they tear the look of your car up if you either A, don't have them tinted or have the LED. I went ahead and just tinted them. It was actually the first mod I ever did to this car was the side marker tint and the um, tail light tint. Shout out to Gris Garage, man. He still puts his hands on my car even though I fully have gotten a full wrap, even though I asked him a million times to do a full wrap. But outside of that, you guys know, again, Gris Garage. So I think it's probably the best and cheapest, true cheapest mod is your side marker and tail light tint that actually changes the look. I have seen people go and do the uh, headlight tint, but let me tell you, I have my windows down right now, right? But I have some pretty dark tint on my windshield. Um, so tinting these, yes, it make the car look super mean and aggressive, but I, I couldn't see, so. So you guys heard it here first. My top three cheapest power mods and my top three cheapest, I don't wanna call them Amazon mods, aesthetic mods, right? There's a bunch of stuff that is out there that you can do to these cars. I think the, the Challengers and Chargers have the most <sighs> items, aftermarket parts, aftermarket everything that there is, right? I know BMW has a lot, I know Mercedes has a lot, but when I tell you there are so many companies that have been developed off social media, off just again these cars being as popular as they are man think about how many people have made a business just off simple things again like proto prints and even again the tail lights and all of that good stuff right day day customs man shout out to you i've never uh, gotten a product from you because i've had this on there for since i bought the car um but just imagine that right it's so many different things let me know in the comments what you think some cheap mods are for your challenger scat pack hellcat charger scat pack hellcat 61 whatever right um but those are mine man and it's actually all of the things that i mentioned i have done to my car so it's from uh experience i have a lot of money put into this car which is again why it's like my child um but again like i said at the beginning of the video she's gonna be gone soon and i can't wait to bring to you guys what's next it's gonna be crazy but you guys know everything 1320 happens right here lock in hit that subscription button and again let me know in the comments and we're out